Hey guys, it's Johnny here with Rock and Pop Vinyls, and this is episode 88. I'm going to start this video right away by thanking you for taking time out of your day to watch my little channel here on my love for Funko Pop collecting, action figure collecting, of course, character car collecting. And while I share all these things with you that are near and dear to my heart, I listen to a lot of badass rock and roll on vinyl records, hence the name of the channel, Rock and Pop Vinyls. So guys, this is going to be my DC McFarlane Multiverse pretty much epic haul. Uh, I've made it my mission this year and I've made no secrets about it in my past videos about my love for the McFarlane DC Multiverse figures and he is not going to do us any favors this year. He is going to hit the market hard and fast and he already has and I'm telling you what I'm keeping pace. I really am. I'm really excited to share all these items that I've picked up with you and with that said you know like I said he is not gonna let up um, the nice thing is he has hit January fairly hard um, but he has nothing else coming out until March or May so it's gonna give my wallet a little time to cool down and trust me it needs to because I have had a lot of luck I've hit uh, my two main culprits being Walmart and Target and if you guys are uh, you know subscribe to my channel or any other hunt channels or collecting channels you'll know that uh, Walmart and Target have had a really tough time rebounding and getting restocked or, or um, from the holidays which hey I get it I'm mean, the holidays you know that that does happen but it just seems like it's dragging out a little bit more than I'm used to as a collector but with that said Target's rebound a little bit Walmart's rebound a little bit. Um, there's, like I said, there's a plethora of channels out there that do hunting. Um, one of my favorite is Greg Cook, by the way. It's just a quick plug for him because I, I love watching his um, channels. And he's a lot more frequent than I am. And his um, he does a lot more hunts than I do. Uh, I would like to get back to hunting, but um, I live kind of vicariously through him. And actually, he kind of sets the pace for me on how I hunt during the course of the week because I get kind of an idea of what's out there and what's going on because of his frequency of, you know, three, four videos a week versus mine, which is uh, once a week. But uh, that's something that I'm looking to improve on down the road here because I've made that a mission this year to really just grow my channel. That's a whole nother thing. We're, we're here for my DC Multiverse uh, McFarlane figure. So let's get into it, guys. Like I said, um, they're rebounding a little bit here and we're going to start off with one that was really elusive for me but i really had to have it in for two reasons one it's badass just plain and simple and two it was the the finishing touch to a build a figure in the last series that came out and that was the uh the merciless and what i needed was this robin earth 22. finally found it excellent is so hard to find out in the wild at least for me i don't know about you if you guys had an easy time finding it good luck and i mean not good luck but then awesome because i had a really really hard time i lucked out with this one uh i went to big bad toy store online and they have this in stock um as of this video i believe this is still available but check this out this robin is phenomenal and like i said this is the uh robin earth 22 this is from the dark knights metal uh line that he had just released is right before the um excuse me before the holiday season and i'm just telling you he was so hard to find but he's got the main core piece to the merciless i mean now, mind you, I am an inbox collector, so I'm not going to open this and build this figure, unfortunately. Um, I am going to look around for channels or whatever, someone who did do that. But I had to have it. The Robin's phenomenal. And I finally, like I said, I got this at Big Bad to Big Bad Toy Store, um, dot com, And uh, I'll put a link down to that in the description below because that's a really cool site. And I really like going on there every once in a while. But as of late, I've been finding a lot of cool things on there to find this. And this was full retail. It was $24.95 with uh, flat, rate, flat rate $4 shipping. You can't beat it. And it saves me a lot of time. And of course all the gas and driving around trying to find um, as we do in the hunt. And I love the thrill of the hunt, don't get me wrong, but there's certain times where I just got to throw in the towel and say, man, you have got to find that elsewhere online. And that's what I did. And freaking awesome. So what an awesome way to kick off the McFarlane run here. We're going to start off, not start off, our second one here is a Target item. And this is really, really cool. This came out, and I believe this is a Target exclusive. But this is the Superman Red Sun. And you have it like there where he, he's kind of like an Elseworlds type of Superman. And it's um, like uh, the Soviet Union, the 
um, kind of outfit that he has going on here, but he's freaking awesome. And I was really tempted on opening this one. I'm tempted on opening all of them, but it would get to a point with me being an inbox collector. I'm just going to have to buy doubles of everything and like trying to find that uh, Robin, that Earth 22 Robin. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to in the investment alone because you figured the average DC multiverse figure is going to run you about $20 uh, plus tax. So, but he's really cool looking. He was actually the first one that I saw of this new wave that was coming out. Now, of course, this is kind of just as a single. Um, figure that's being released and like i said this is a target exclusive this is the red sun superman awesome awesome figure awesome addition to my collection all right so this next bag here this is going to be a little bit of two different series that come out we have now this is part of the new dark knights metal line and this is batman earth 11 and this is pretty freaking awesome um i don't know really anything about this storyline i'd have to consult my buddy rob he's more down to uh he knows everything about comics i mean i kind of fell out of comics a long 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 time ago i was always more of a toy collector action figure collector and i love everything dc in that um arena but i never kept up with the storyline so i'm not really sure what the storyline is behind this batman earth 11 but it is pretty cool because female and it looks like it has to do with Aquaman because by the back card here, she's part of the sea. Like I said, I don't know anything about the story and I'm not going to sit there and lie to you and pretend to you that I do. What I do know is I love the figure because it's freaking awesome and I am exactly what I, you know, I portray. I'm a toy collector. I'm an action figure collector. I love DC figures and this is a must have. And I'm not really a big completionist, but I've made it with this McFarlane line and anything that he does with the DC multiverse, I am going to complete it. So, okay, let's carry on. We have another one here. Now this one I actually had in a Target bag, but I actually got this at Walmart. This one's really cool. This is a single line. This is the McFarlane Gold Label Collection that he has coming out. And he's doing an entire line. He's doing a little bit of uh, Spawn. He's doing, I know he has something from The Witcher. He has, um, and of course, Batman and the DC uh, Multiverse. But this is his version of Batman. Now, this is actually um, from Todd McFarlane. This is a Todd McFarlane design. And it's freaking awesome. I love the look of it. It even says it on the package that this is a Todd McFarlane designed figure and uh, it's freaking awesome. He's got a couple uh, swords on the side. Um, he's got a little bit of a... I don't know how to really define his outfit. It's a little bit of it looks tech and then part of it looks aged, very like um, uh, medieval like, but it's just a really cool figure. He's got these goggles that he can wear and like I said, it's really hard to really define what kind of you know era this batman but like i said this is designed by todd mcfarlane he's even got spikes on his gloves that go up right here on the armor very reminiscent of spawn so that's a lot of the feel that i'm getting there but i i had to have this this, this is phenomenal but i found this at actually walmart not target i was just trying to condense my collection so it got thrown in that target bag all right so our next bag up we have two more and this is from the Last Night on Earth line. So, like, it's going a little bit everywhere. We've had the metal one. We've had the Todd McFarlane. This next one is called Batman, The Last Night on Earth. And I love the fact that Todd's just going to the books. And, of course, it's giving him tons of inspiration and tons of figures to hit the market. It's freaking phenomenal. So let's start with this first one here. We have... Batman, this is Omega. Now, this is another set of four that's a collective collect figure to build a bigger figure. And that figure is Bane. Check that out. He is freaking huge. And, um, again, inbox collector, not going to open it. But, man, the temptation is there. But let's take a look at the figure. We have Omega, Batman. And he's actually got uh, Bane's um, legs right there. Our next one up in that same series, Last Night on Earth, Batman. We have Wonder Woman. Now, she has Bane's arms, and they're freaking huge. And if you, just to see how big this Bane character would be built, here's Wonder Woman. She's got kind of like a mohawk. I don't, like, obviously she's from this line, The Last Nights on Earth. She's very Amazonian look to her. Pretty freaking awesome. I love this. I love her outfit. I love the sword. But if you look at Bane's arms, 
in contrast to her as a whole figure. This guy is going to be just mammoth of a figure. It's going to be freaking awesome. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's see. We got two more actually from that same exact line. And these two would actually complete the entire Bane build the figure. So this next one up, this one's phenomenal. This one, uh, if I was a photographer, I would totally get into this one. Actually, I even, again, going back to Greg Cook, uh, I had said something on one of his um, Saturday live videos that he likes to do and i said man this is scarecrow would be awesome to just do photography with so we have scarecrow here he's kind of got like half a body and he's got these really long mechanical uh hands he's got a noose around his neck he's got some kind of what looks to be either a bag or like a breathing apparatus around his face and i hope that doesn't glare too much for you but man he's freaking awesome and he has the main torso of bane so again that puts it into perspective how big this bane figure is i mean he is just huge and uh on the back card here it shows scarecrow riding on his back so obviously in this storyline they're in cahoots or that's a big part of the story all right we have another one part of that last night on earth and this one is batman this one is pretty freaking awesome. He has the Bane head and the Bane fist, and he looks like he's in some kind of like big, like kind of like straight jacket type suit. He has the Joker's head in this lantern type of jar here. Looks freaking awesome. It's really cool looking. I mean, I I know this video is probably not probably not doing it justice, but this thing, this thing is phenomenal. And you guys really, if you are a fan of this line, do not skimp. Get the whole get the whole set. Build the figure for me, man. Post, send me pictures on my Instagram, what this looks like. Because, I, I mean, I'm intrigued. But I just don't want to go, you know, financially into the hole just to try to get this done. But, man, you get the idea. That Bane is freaking awesome. All right. So, that's what's that? Eight figures down in this line, guys? That's nuts. That is completely nuts. But I have three more to show you. I'm going to show these next two because they go, they're in cahoots. I'm going to show them separately, though, just because of how cool they are. This is freaking phenomenal. I'm sure a lot of you collectors have already seen this out here. But we got the GC Multiverse Bat Cycle. This thing is freaking amazing. Again, another, if I was into photography or was good at it or something like that, this would be another piece I would have to open and just have a blast with. But this thing is phenomenal. It's got a giant bat, like, skeleton head. It's got a rib cage that goes around the gas tank and it's got the kind of like a body of like a big ass harley like an old school like fat boy from the 90s it's pretty awesome it's got like three exhausts on the side the um there's really no bat logos or anything like it so it's got a really rustic kind of look to it but it does have a bat logo in the front tire and you probably are not going to be able to see that i've got these lights triangulated to hope to really help with hopefully you guys be able to see a little bit better because i don't open packages i know that i'm sorry but that's just that's the collector i am i'm that guy but this thing is phenomenal love it had to have it it was actually the first thing that i purchased out of this entire set now where i was going where the part where i said this is a two-piece set this i ended up getting at target as well you got the bike you gotta have the rider and this is from the uh Dark Knight Death Metal. Now, this is the Batman, and it is freaking badass. I mean, seriously, he's got a huge-ass leather um, trench coat. He's just done. I mean, he looks heavy metal. He's got the sickle right here. I mean, he is awesome. And even on the back card in the back of the, of the card stock here, it shows him on this motorcycle. I mean, seriously, it's freaking awesome. So check that out. Boom. Big time. And like I said, and of course, they're together. It's freaking awesome. So, we're almost done, guys. One last piece. So that puts us at nine figures. We got a vehicle. And of course, we're going to go up to figures 10 and 11, but we're doing it in one shot. We have a DC Multiverse 2-pack, and this is a Target exclusive as well. And it is Nightwing and Red Hood. Oh. Freaking awesome. Let's see if we get that in there for you guys. Had to have this. They, I think this is retailing uh, $39.99. That's not bad considering you pay $20 a figure anyway. So, you you know, you're just getting two in one shot. That red hood looks phenomenal. 
Nightwing looks phenomenal. Um, of course, I'm I'm going to be biased. I'm a big fan of this entire. I think once McFarlane got the license to do this and was pretty much given like the green light to do whatever you want, man, it made me excited for collecting action figures. And again, and of course, on this channel, you've seen I collect Funko Pops and collector cars, but man, I mean, my. I'm still collecting Funko Pops, don't get me wrong, I mean, look at me, but man, I've really got my ear to the ground, my wallet to the ground, so when it comes to this stuff, and I'm obsessed with it, but hey, there you have it, guys, that is my entire DC McFarland multiverse uh, haul, I told you, it was huge, and I wanted to do an entire video just strictly on it, so hey, if you guys like this, if you guys are fans of the McFarland DC multiverse figures, hey, Comment down below. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you liked in this video. What you thought was awesome. Do you want me to open something? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sure you do. But it's probably not going to happen. Just say it. But uh, like I said, I'm a big fan. And I hope you guys are too. And I was glad I was able to share this with you. And uh, there you have it. So hey guys, if you like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, click that bell down below to get any notifications of any video drops that I do. And like I said, I've made it a goal this year to really grow my channel and I'm trying to get to a point where I can do more videos a week. I actually want to get to a point where I get a healthy balance where I do one full sit down episode like I'm doing now and able to do maybe two or three hunt videos a week. That is my goal. That's what I'd like to do. It would help with my frequency. And of course, like I said, making it my goal to grow my channel. I think if I did more episodes, I'd probably get better results, of course. But um, I'm very grateful for um, you watching and the people that have subscribed and uh, been sticking with me for the last year and a half since I've started uh, my YouTube channel. But hey, give me a thumbs up. Please comment down below. Help me with my algorithm. I really, really appreciate it. And guys, I will see you, whether it be in a hunt or another episode of Rock and Pop Finals. See you soon. Bye.